It is pin drop silence in this classroom at Nairobi School. Apart from a punch here and punch there on calculators, these students are aiming to punch each other, not literally, but on paper. They are from three and four students from a number of schools from different counties taking part in a mathematics contest. It is the seventh time Nairobi School is organizing this contest. The students taking part are about 1,500 from over 30 schools. We expected 50 schools, but many schools are on half-term this time. That is why the, the, the number is a bit low, but still it's a good number. And uh, the teachers are uh, about 80. In the school's hall, another group of students is taking part in an oral exam. The teacher reads aloud the question, the students tackle it, and the first person to get the answer is awarded with gifts, ranging from t-shirts, pens, and shears. And it was not all about playing with numbers, but their favorite songs were also played, as they were engaged in other activities. It is really fun, doing it is really fun and enjoyable. Uh, solving hard questions by the help of our teachers, it's really, it really helps and motivates a lot. The questions are challenging but not very. I could manage most of them. No, everyone can do well in maths. We have seen that in, uh, in our school. Even those people who you think they cannot do maths, as a maths teacher, I've seen it in the classroom, Rainbow, they can do it. They can do it. They only need encouragement. They need support. They need to be exposed to so many, many questions to do. According to Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi, the number of students pursuing STEM courses in our universities is low compared to the ones who are doing the arts. This is because many shy away from subjects such as mathematics and science, branding them to be difficult. But since Nairobi School started the maths contest, the attitude of students towards such subjects is slowly changing. We used to even have low grades. Our mean was at six point something. But today we are talking of a very high mean. Yeah, of uh, 10.7 like last year. We, yeah, with uh, the previous year also we had more than 150 A's, you know. After completing the examination, teachers from the participating schools marked the papers and those who performed well were identified. In the girls' schools category, Alliance girls emerged the best. Mary Hill girls came in second. In the third place was St. Francis Mangu. In the boys' category, Moranga High School was top. Then followed St. Mary's from Nyeri and Nairobi School was third. Two top students also received 15,000 shillings each. It is events such as this that are used in motivating students to embrace mathematics and science. Sharon Baranga, NTV.